Hello, my name is Chris Mowat, and I'm an application engineer here at TriMec. In honor of Veterans Day and those who have served our United States Armed Forces, I've modeled the Anthem Veterans Memorial, located in Anthem, Arizona, which has a unique feature that is perfect to demonstrate the scene lighting and animation capabilities of SolidWorks Visualize Professional. Let's start with a brief review of this special memorial. Anthem Veterans Memorial consists of five pillars which represent the nation's military branches. Here we can see Army, Marine Corps, Navy, Air Force, and Coast Guard. On the ground at the front of the shortest pillar sits the Great Seal of the United States. What's unique about this memorial is how it interacts with the sun. Each year, on the 11th minute of the 11th hour on Veterans Day, November 11th, this unique design allows the sun's rays to align with a series of elliptical holes that pass through each of the pillars, creating a spotlight effect which illuminates the Great Seal as it is surrounded by shadows cast by the pillars. Let's see how we can recreate this fascinating event using the lights and animation tools in Visualize Professional. I've broken this up into a simple five-step process. I'll show how to set up the model, set up the scene, add a directional light, animate the light, and produce the final rendering that mimics the sun passing behind the pillars and illuminating the Great Seal. Here we see the models of the pillars and the ground already imported to visualize and scaled to fit the environment scene. I have the fast rendering mode enabled and will continue to work with it enabled so I can see the immediate effects of my changes as they would appear in the final rendering. To boost the realism, I've also imported 3D models of the flags of the US military. These are not SOLIDWORKS models, but are imported as OBJ files with UV mapped appearances. The flags were created using 3D modeling software typically used for CG animations, such as video games and animated movies, and allows for very organic and realistic geometry, perfect for rendering. This is a distinct advantage that Visualize has over PhotoView 360, as SOLIDWORKS, which serves as the importer for PhotoView, is not capable of importing appearances with OBJ files. I've added decals to the placards on each pillar to signify each military branch they represent and placed an additional decal on the Great Seal at the location where the sun will highlight it. Finally, I've added and modified appearances to the pillars, ground, and decals to more closely match the actual appearance of the Anthem Memorial. After having set up the models, my next plan of action is to set up the environment scene using an HDR environment. I'm using this HDR not to perfectly simulate the sun, but to illuminate the model with a realistic spectrum of light, like the wide spectrum of light that is present in a truly outdoors environment. This produces far more realistic reflections as opposed to using a studio scene, which may have high contrast lighting, but is lacking the natural variety of colors produced by the sun as it would in real life. After a few iterations, I found the infinite tarmac environment from the Visualize Cloud Library to be a perfect match for my needs, as it has an ample range of color and projects the majority of the bright light from a single direction, similar to the sun. After applying the environment, I can simply rotate it to locate the bright area of the HDR behind the tallest pillar, where the directional light we add will be located. Finally, I added a backplate of a blue sky to the scene to immerse the model in a bright outdoor setting. With the scene environment and backplate set up, I'm now ready to add the directional light. To create the light, I'll open up the scene tab and click the add icon. I'll select new light and pick target, then click on the location of the great seal. The new light has been added to the scene. However, I have to adjust its settings to select the type, color, and brightness of the light that I need, as well as relocate the light's source and target position to cast the light and shadows as they do at the Anthem Memorial. To adjust these settings, I'll click on the light in the Scenes tab and access its properties. Next, I'll select Directional from the Type drop-down list, adjust the brightness, and change the color to a pale yellow to produce a warm lighting effect. To relocate the light source's position, I'll keep the light selected and enable the Move tool from the Object Manipulation Tools tab. This activates a triad manipulator that allows me to control the position of the light source and its target independently by clicking on either of the white cubes. For this directional light, Visualize conveniently includes a green line that connects the two positions. I will use this as a reference to line up the light's path with the elliptical holes in the pillars. 
The target location is already close to where we need it, so I'll begin with positioning the light source. I'll have to move the camera around as I position the light to make sure that I get the correct placement. With the light's source positioned as I want, I can already see the spotlight effect occurring on the great seal. If necessary, I can reposition the light's target location so that the seal is uniformly lit. With the directional light positioned as I need, this is a great opportunity to make further adjustments to the light's settings, such as adjusting the brightness to decrease or increase the strength of the shadows, or adjusting the color to better blend with the environment lighting and backplate. With the model and scene settings in place, now we are ready to animate the position of the directional light to mimic the sun passing behind the memorial's pillars and illuminating the Great Seal as it does at the Anthem Veterans Memorial. I'll begin the animation by first opening up the animation timeline and moving the time marker to 5 seconds. This is going to represent the end of the animation, when the light will be perfectly aligned and illuminate the Great Seal. I need to create a keyframe of the light's position to add this to the animation timeline. I can do this by right-clicking the light from the Scenes tab and selecting Add Keyframe. A keyframe marker then appears at the 5 second mark on the timeline. Next, I'll move the timeline marker to 0 seconds, which will be the start of the animation. I want the light source to remain positioned behind the pillars as it is at the end of the animation, however, I also want it to be moved a bit to the side so that the light and the shadows aren't quite aligned with the Great Seal, representing the location of the sun as it approaches 11.11 a.m. when it will be fully aligned. To do this, I'll select the light source and drag it to the right a short distance, just enough to cover the Great Seal with shadows. A new keyframe for the directional light will be created after moving the light only if auto keyframing is enabled. Otherwise, I can right-click like I did last time and choose Add Keyframe. Finally, I'll move the timeline between the two keyframes I created to confirm the proper shadow and light alignment. All that is left now is to render the final animation. To do this, I'll open up the Output Tools window and enable the Animation tab. This opens the Animation Options tab where I can set my options for the movie format, frame rate, and range. Next, I'll enable the Render Options tab, where I can assign the size, resolution, and renderer selection for the animation. With the animation and render options set, I just have to click Start Animation Render and let Visualize work its magic. With the animation rendering finished, we can view the final product that will make our veterans proud. While this was pretty easy to create and visualize, it goes without saying that enormous amounts of hard work, love, and respect was put into the construction of the Anthem Veterans Memorial and its unique ability to highlight the great seal of our country every Veterans Day. On behalf of TriMec, thank you to all veterans for your service and sacrifice for our country that allows us to live free, dream big, and thrive in our free society. Again, my name is Chris Mowat, and thank you for watching this video on how to create and animate lights in SolidWorks Visualize.